Hello guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be checking out Coruscant from Star Wars inside of Unreal Engine 5.2. So this is a completely free project that you can download and check out. And there's so many free assets here that are included. And if you are familiar with the Star Wars universe, you probably recognize even some of the buildings that you see here. Yeah, things like the Senate building, uh, the Jedi Temple, and even the Chancellor's building. So there's a lot of real world locations that are inside of this map. And it's completely crazy to me to believe that this map was free. I just found it on, I actually found this on YouTube and I didn't believe it till I opened up the project. But yeah, it even comes with a 1313 level. So if you guys remember Star Wars 1313, the canceled Star Wars game that was set to be on Coruscant, basically you could fly down to the lower levels of the city, which is just amazing. And it, watch till the very end of the video if you guys want to see how you can actually download this project for free and you can use it to you know play around with maybe make a short film or something maybe even some sort of small game now before we get any further on into the video i really quickly want to tell you about my multiplayer survival game course learn how to make a multiplayer survival game inside of unreal engine 5 there is currently over 50 hours of course content and i'm working to have it updated to unreal engine 5.2 in this course you will learn how to make things like a drag and drop inventory system, a complete crafting system where you can craft all sorts of different items, a harvesting system where you can chop down any tree, rock, or bush that you see on the map. We create nine unique weapons and tools, things like a rocket launcher, pickaxe, hatchet, rifle. We create an entire building system where you can build your own bases using foundations, walls, ceilings, and you can upgrade your base from wood to then stone and then to metal. This course is currently in early access, but if you enroll today, you will get a big early access discount. The price of this course will be raised later on, but if you enroll now, you will get access to the entire course and all future lectures that will be added. So take your game development skills to the next level by enrolling in this course. The link will be in the description below or you can head over to smartpoly.teachable.com to check out the course. Okay, so now here we are inside of the project. So it's a pretty big map and over here, I'll show you guys some of the main locations. So over here we have the Senate building and I mean the detail on all the meshes are just incredible. So I can zoom up. Everything is really nice and detailed, which to me is just crazy because this is an entire free project that the creator put up for free. And we even have, you know, these flying speeders everywhere around the map. So yeah, we have the Senate building over here. Down here, we have sort of these underground different layers. And they even come with these nice walkway areas. So it'd be really cool to try and populate this with, you know, NPCs and all that stuff. All around, we have these little corridors where we have some of the speeders, you know, flying through. But yeah, I can go up here and over here we have sort of like the Chancellor's building. I forget what this building is called, but if you guys watch the movies, you've seen it all the time. Those are the main two buildings. And over here, we have the Jedi Temple off in the distance. So let me just go ahead and zoom over here. And yeah, down here you can even see some of the different walkways and the little holographic, you know, uh, billboards and stuff like that. So just really cool to see that they incorporated, you know, all these little sky bridges. But over here we have the Jedi Temple. So pretty high quality. Now none of them obviously come with interiors. They're just, you know, exterior buildings. So another neat thing would be for someone to actually go in and you know, recreate some of the interiors of the buildings. But yeah, pretty high detailed, and this would be perfect for creating some sort of short film. Maybe even a game, but obviously, you know, Disney doesn't really like people using their IP. And that's another reason why I was surprised that this entire project was free to download. But yeah, I mean, overall, let me zoom out and show you guys just how big the city is. So it's a pretty decent sized map, and yeah, look at that. It's pretty big. You can see all the different buildings, uh, skyscrapers, all that stuff. So it extends pretty far. And obviously you could probably make this a lot larger if you wanted to, you know, extend it even further. But to me, it's just insane seeing an actual level like this because we've never had this really in any sort of game. Now, if I show you guys the Nanite mode, so I've enabled Nanite on all of this. So if I go to overview here, you guys can see just all the triangles on all the buildings. So this is a perfect example to showcase, you know, the power of Unreal Engine 5 because you can see all the buildings in the distance. There's no LODs, there's no popping of the meshes. 
so I can stream in and out as fast as possible. I could be even zooming across the map and I wouldn't have any issues drawing in all of the new meshes, streaming all the meshes, and there's no issues with LODs popping in and out. So this is just the perfect example of using Nanite just because you know having a dense city uses so much performance. And if you don't use Nanite, you have to use LODs, which you have to manually control which buildings are baked into which. But over here is the uh, 13, 13 entrance. So if I go, into the lit mode. You can see down here goes all the way down. And the way that they set up this map is they're using level streaming. So if you were to play this, there's actually a flying pond that comes with it. You have a little starship that you can fly around with. And once you go down into this, basically there's like a little trigger box that opens up the next level. So in the levels, we have bunch of different levels. Let's open up the underworld. Yeah, so here is basically the 13, 13 level. So this just looks amazing because of all the uh, lights, especially the lighting in here. So if I go down over here, you can see how many different levels there are. So there's these different walkways over here and I could even play as a third person character to showcase that. But you can see all of the different levels as you keep going down. And it's really unfortunate that they canceled the 13-13 uh, game. But I mean, with all of this, you could probably just remake it. But yeah, the underworld level is pretty big, so I can kind of zoom out, give you guys a larger look. But I really love the lighting in here. I mean, it looks exactly like it does in the movies and throughout the TV shows. And even this orange, you know, light that's coming from the bottom here, reflecting off the buildings. So unfortunately, I couldn't use the flying pond because... This project is actually in Unreal Engine 4.26, so I had to update it to Unreal Engine 5.2, and when I updated the project, the flying pawn had a ton of different bugs and just wasn't updated to 5.2, so instead I'm just, you know, flying around the viewports. Let's check out some of the other levels. So we have the day, and we also have the night. You can also fly up to space, and there's supposed to be a transition from space to ground. So yeah, this is Coruscant at night. So this just looks absolutely beautiful. And you can see sort of the city lights, or at least some of them. Some of the buildings doesn't seem like the lights are too bright, at least from you know comparing it to the movies. But down here, you can see the different levels. Again, it goes all the way down. So there's multiple different levels of walkways. And it'd be really cool to populate this with a bunch of, you know, NPCs just walking all around the different sky bridges. Pretty much set it up like the Matrix Awakens with all the uh, metahuman NPCs. And we even have, you know, a Venator up in the sky. So it's kind of cool that he includes all of the different meshes. So let's go ahead and actually fly up there and check this out. So all of these meshes are really high quality, including this one over here. So you can see how detailed it is. I've always wanted to make you know, a Coruscant map for a Star Wars game or something like that, but you know, I'm not really artistically inclined or anything like that. I mean, I've always wanted to have like an open world Star Wars game, but yeah, I'm not sure why any other game studio hasn't tried to make like an open world Star Wars game. It just feels like an untapped market. I mean, just think about it. You know, you can travel to all the different planets, fly your ship across the galaxy. There would just be so many different possibilities for an open world Star Wars game. And it's just sad that, you know, no other game studio is really creating a game like this. I mean, we have games like, you know, Jedi Fallen Order and stuff like that. But I mean, that's just like linear gameplay. It's not really, you know, fully sandbox, open world. And it would also be really nice if it was multiplayer. I mean, even if, you know, the stuff wasn't seamless, like, you know, loading screen, if I had to travel from a planet to another planet or something like that. I mean, as long as it's like multiplayer and the planet maps are pretty huge, I would definitely pay like $60, if not more for a game like that. But the only thing for me, though, is it have to be set in, you know, the Clone Wars era. I just feel like any other era is, you know, not as interesting. The original trilogy era, it feels like Disney and EA, they're always putting out, you know, TV shows or games or whatever, and it's based in the original trilogy, like some Rebels, you know, TV series or something like that. And it's just, you know, not as interesting as something that would be set in the prequels. But yeah, anyways, that's just a long rant about Star Wars. They really need to make an open world game. Now, let me show you guys some of the other things that come included. So we have the space level. I haven't really checked this one out. I believe you can play as the flying pawn and then there's a trigger volume. So once you fly down, it will transition from space to ground, which is actually a neat feature of the older Battlefront games. 
or you can fly from the space down into the ground. Now over here we have all the assets that come included. So you can see pretty much the city is just made up of a few of these different assets. So if we go down here, some of the different building blocks that make up 90% of the city and some of the smaller props. So all the little speeders, some of the pipes and some different ships. We have, you know, the Senate building. But yeah, I'm curious to see what you guys think about this project. If you have any ideas for using some of the assets in here. Yeah, one of the things about this project is that the scale and the proportions of the city are actually pretty big. So when I played with the third person character, it was absolutely tiny in comparison to everything around it. So it didn't feel right, like the scaling and all that stuff. But basically, I just took the character and scaled it up. That way, it could be a little bit more fitting. To the actual scale but i mean even then it still feels pretty small so yeah let me know what you guys think down in the comments down below will you be using the project for anything inside of unreal engine and if you want to go ahead and download it i'll leave a link in the description to the original video and basically you have to join their discord and they have a download link inside of their discord server to access the map so it's like a google drive link i'm not going to directly link it in the video because they have it, you have to join their Discord to get access to the link. So you'll just have to click on their video, join their Discord, and then in one of the different channels, they have access to download the map. But yeah, that's going to be it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.